It's a rivalry so big they're making a documentary about its rich history. When Hope and Calvin meet for the 209th time tonight, cameras of local TV stations won't be the only ones rolling on the game. Marley Weirda has the story. Lights, camera, action. Basketball practices at Calvin are looking a little bit like a movie set these days. It's a little weird. I mean, they're following us around everywhere, but it's super fun. And I'm really excited to see how it turns out. This has been a project nearly a year in the making. It all started when documentary filmmaker Kellen Dengler stumbled upon an article listing the top rivalries in college sports. And it had all the heavy hitters in there, but this one was ranked surprisingly high for a D3 school. West Michigan is the latest stop for the original docu-series called The Rivalries, which streams exclusively on LG Smart TVs. The project's eighth episode will showcase the rivalry between Hope and Calvin for both the men's and women's teams. Most sports fans have heard about Michigan and Ohio State, North Carolina and Duke, but this series dives into the more obscure but no less fierce. They featured rivalry games across the country. Every from Anchorage to Tampa Bay. We like to call it big stories from little places. Um, we're focusing on underdog stories within the NCAA. True grit rivalry stories that don't often get told. West Michiganders know all about the Hope Calvin rivalry, which goes back more than 100 years. But for the Knights and the Dutch, having their story told on a bigger platform is a unique opportunity. If you're not from West Michigan, sometimes you just don't get um, how big a deal this is. And, and I've said countless times, you know, I was at Ferris and Grand Valley's a great rival and certainly in northern Michigan, Michigan Tech's a great rival. But this, this is better than anything you're going to be a part of in the crowd, um, the environment, the competitiveness. It's, it all makes it just so special. The Hope women are no stranger to the spotlight, though. Last year, they held the NCAA's longest active winning streak of 61 games while winning the national championship that same season. But they aren't overlooking the importance of having a women's team included in the documentary. We're talking about just like women in media and how they're not as represented um, as often as men are. And so to have this representation and to have um, this crew come in and highlight us is super exciting and we're excited to see the product of it. The documentary crew will wrap up production this week at the men's game with the episode set to air in March. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Marley Weirda, News 8. Thanks, Marley. That game tips off at 7.30. I was just received a text. They've sold over 4,000 tickets so far. If Calvin wins, they win the MIAA championship outright, something they haven't done since 2015. We'll have highlights and post-game reaction for you tonight on News 8. And